so uh, this is the alarm system that I was talking about this uh, specifically is the Roots Auto Gladiator 2 two wheeler security system or the alarm system anti theft system whatever you call it so let's just see uh, it costs around uh, 1650 it's written here but I got it here for uh, 1200 1300 I'm not exactly sure because uh, I got it around two three months back it was actually a gift on my birthday so I, ex I actually don't know what the price was so you get it in all the automobile shops uh, locally you even get it online I'll put a link uh, of this product in the description box below and uh, yeah so what does it contain it contains a controller the main mo module the siren siren that is a speaker remote units and the wiring harness so let's just see what's inside it so okay first we have the uh, manual so this manual has a uh, okay thank you for purchasing that's nice so like this uh, what are the parts and uh, you have function of each uh, button on the remote how to fix it the application where it goes and uh, yeah the application chart for each and every bike so this is the bike that I am going to do the TVS Apache RTR both 160 and 180 are essentially the same bike so I will be doing it for this uh, you can see this uh, circuit here and uh, we will actually not uh, specifically follow this because uh, I actually got this alarm system you know installed professionally at the same shop so he did it quite neatly so I will follow the same method so yeah we'll just keep it aside oh my god where's the alarm no, i'm just joking i said i already installed it so i just removed it from your bike so it will not be in the box uh, this is the spare remote so here we have the four buttons the lock unlock the thunder button here is the remote start and the bell button here is the uh, vehicle finder so when you press it you get a small light here so you know that you are actually pressing the buttons these are the uh, you know extra wiring that is not required so plus you also get a double sided tape to you know stick that uh, speaker to your vehicle but this is not required you can just uh, tie it to your vehicle so we'll just keep this aside and we'll get into the parts of the alarm system so the first part that we have here is the main module or the you know controller so it's got several wires here this blue thing here is the fuse in case of there's a short circuit you know the fuse blows and protects this then we have this three protruding wires uh, two of them are you know shock sensors you know they you know if suppose someone tries to steal your vehicle or there's a jerk to your vehicle when you lock it so these sensors sense it and and siren goes off this here is an antenna so that uh, your remote will communicate through this so this is one the next part that we have is the siren itself so it is again by using a two pin plug so this two pin plug you know actually goes like this so you just have to connect it like this yeah so it's done so this two pin plug goes here I'll connect it once I you know fit the entire system onto the vehicle so So that two pin plug goes there so then uh, you have this uh, one two three four five six seven, eight okay so the eight pin plug so this is where the actual wiring comes so so this is the wiring that I was talking about so is neatly you know taped it so that whatever wire you need only is required there are so much of excess wires but I'll tell you what exactly which color and which wire you need and the rest of the wires you can just cut them out so we'll push this aside and I'll just show you the wires I'll even put a neat diagram and image to show where each wire goes. So starting from the plug, you'll have uh, several wires uh, coming out from here. You can see a black, red, a gray, pink, two yellow and an orange. So the wires that you don't need are this gray and the pink. So this gray and pink wire, you can cut it off immediately here and only the rest wires you're going to need. As, and uh, please note that this is only for the Apache RTR series so the grey and the pink wire is not required okay so then we have this one branch 
of three wires a black a yellow with green strand and a yellow wire so both these yellow wires connect to the indicators of your bike indicator or yeah so indicator so both positives so what happens you can connect this to your left right or vice versa once you connect this only when you use your remote to lock or unlock your bike the indicators will flash giving a visual effect so if you don't connect this only the siren will works so only the audio will come so it, the vehicle indicators will not flash so it will not look nice so you can use this there the black uh, as normal standards would say it's the negative or the ground wire we have to find a negative uh, port on the bike to fix it or you can just fix it to the uh, any metal part on the bike so that is one part coming to the other section we have this red wire red wire as it says is the you no know, power supply or the positive this connects to the bike's battery directly to the bike's battery but uh, because the system is going to be on always even when you are not using a bike because that's when you will be actually locking a bike so it connects to the bike's battery you don't require any kind of you know switch to connect it to the battery directly to the battery it can be connected next we have these two wires the reason why these two wires are you know separately coming is uh, this blue wire here is totally optional if you wish to connect you can connect or if you wish you cannot connect but still the alarm will work alarm part of the remote will definitely work this blue wire actually here is the you know remote start feature so this connects to your ignition of the bike so if you look here as i said this uh, thunder button if you press it twice no uh the vehicle will start so unless you connect this wire to the ignition this feature will not work so you can choose to you know connect this or not connect this so that is one the next here is the orange wire this actually you know connects to the flasher or relay of the bike the flasher or relay is just located besides the battery i'll show it to you on the bike it is actually that one small uh, two pin plug kind of thing that makes your indicator to flash intermittently and not just you know turn on and turn off like it goes on off on off in regular intervals so this connects there so let me just run through all the wires quickly blue is totally optional you connect it to your bike's ignition unit orange goes to your bike's uh, flasher red goes to your bike's battery power supply black is the negative or the ground and these two yellow wires go to your Uh, left and right indicators this plug only here goes to the main modules other big plug other end so this just uh, fits in like this and we are done so i'll repeat the same process on the bike showing you where exactly to fit so this is my bike so i'm going to install the alarm in this bike this is an apache 160 red so i'll show walk walk through the steps as to how to install the alarm on this bike so coming to the bike the first connection that we have to do here is the blue wire as i said it's optional it goes directly into this blue plug that i am showing here the blue plug is the ignition wire of the bike and uh, if you can see closely you have this blue and another strand you have to do it in the blue plug so you have to push this wire there and then plug it back the next connection that i was talking about is this orange wire it it goes to the flasher relay unit of the bike which is shown here so you have to just remove this two pin plug and insert this wire and push it you can put it into any of the prongs it doesn't matter it's just that the connection has to be given to the flasher relay part to the back that is the top part now the black wire as i said uh, is the negative or the uh, ground wire so if you see in the bike's wiring you have uh, one plug that goes to the rear light section the rear tail light so you can remove that plug and here there you have a black wire you can insert that into that plug and then fix it back so the next two wires are the indicator wire connections that i said so you can connect these yellow to left right or however you wish but make sure that you connect it to these uh, green and uh, violet plugs so you remove them and you then push it back
the final connection is coming back to the side where we have the red wire uh, obviously we give the power supply at the last so the red wire goes to the battery now generally speaking we have to directly give it to the battery but since that place is all gooey gooey and lots of grime is there uh, we just uh, uh, see the first red plug that comes out from the battery wire uh, we remove that plug uh, give it there and then uh, we put the plug back on Okay, so we finally waited till it's dark and uh, now we'll show you how exactly the alarm system works on the bike. So as I showed you before, there are four buttons, the lock, unlock, remote start and the bell icon. So let's see what each of them does. So if you press, this is the lock function on the bike. So what happens is if you press this, the bike is locked. So if anyone tries to, you know, uh, manhandle the bike or tries to steal it, the bike will give an alarm. So let's give a demo. So this is the alarm. It goes off after some time. After this also, if someone tries to uh, steal it or tries to manhandle it, then there will be a la bigger alarm. So after that we again lock it. Now if we press the unlock button, that's a different sound. So the bike is now unlocked. And after you unlock the bike, uh, you have to uh, put your key and start the vehicle within 30 seconds or otherwise the bike will lock itself back. So now the bike is in unlock state. Now I will show you the remote start feature. The remote start feature is simple. We have to just make sure that your bike is in neutral gear and that this kill switch here is on. If it is off then the bike will not start. Uh, also you will have to make sure that your petrol is on or in reserve or however it is. So let's just make my bike in neutral. So it's in gear. Still in gear. Okay, we come to first. So it's in neutral. So, so as you can see, the keys are with me. The bike has started. As you can see, there is no key here. So the bike will start. And now, now to switch off the bike, you have to press the unlock button. So the bike switches off, and. Uh, Okay, so now we have to look at the bell icon here. Now the bell icon is for you to find your vehicle when it is in a parking lot. Like suppose you forget the exact spot as to where you are parked it. So if you press the bell icon, it keeps blinking like this. So I have again unlocked it so that, uh, so when you click the bell icon, no, it keeps tweaking like this. So you will be able to find out as to where your bike exactly is and uh, if you press the unlock button again the bike will switch off so now something one feature about this roots uh, safety system is that uh, you can set the level of sensitivity in your bike now it's from level 1 to level 5 i will also show you how that is done now to do that you will have to hold the arm button like this as you keep holding then automatically after some time it keeps chirping like this. So, so that's level 1, 2, 3, 4 and that is 5. So we press the lock button at level 5. So level 5 is set. So depending upon whichever level you choose, the bike will set the sensitivity to that level. So level 5 is the best because any kind of minute uh, shaking in the bike or any uh, uh, man handling the bike is going to sound an alarm. Level 1 is too low unless the vehicle you know removed from the stand and pushed there will not be any kind of an alarm so level 5 is the best.